Broski Broskies, this is Zach Cloud, and I'm doing Plants vs. Zombies, the No Sun Challenge, and oh boy, simple looking, but then we have the Dolphin Riders. This is, they're basically pole vaulters in the water. So the water is definitely going to have to be well defended. Oops. Let's see. Might try to pack these guys. Might have to try to put two walnuts in a row if I can. Uh, having a brain fart here. Yeah, the land isn't going to be too much of a problem, so I'm not going to waste too much time with other things. Just put these for the heck of it or something. Okay. I, I took too long. Let's let's do this. Let's go. And wait. <laughs> um I could talk about when I was uh, a wee little baby. Yes, that's something not a lot of people can do. They all say that you don't form memories before age three or four. I did. I can distinctly remember uh, a lot of things as a baby even before I could even walk. For example, I always liked to twist around in my baby swing uh, because I always wanted to get to the crank. There's this crank that was moving back and forth at the top and you can rotate it to make the swing go longer and stuff. And I always wanted to get to that crank, so I always liked to be all contorted and twisting around because I was trying to climb up the posts that, uh, instead, instead of chains that had posts. And I wanted to climb up them to get to the crank. <laughs> that was just like my big objective. Um, and I didn't know how to communicate that I just wanted to get to it. Uh, so, later on I found out Mom actually had photos of me being all twisted in there, and she didn't understand why? Well, I was able to tell her why. Uh, one time, despite living in Ohio, we had an earthquake. Uh, it, was, it was some very minor one, uh, where things just shook a little bit, it wasn't violent or anything. Uh, but, I... Uh, I, I was starting to learn to walk at the time and it knocked me down onto my butt and yeah, this is going to be a little dicey here but yeah it knocked me down onto my butt and I didn't get hurt because I remember my diaper was good padding and while everything was bouncing and jerking around all I could remember was thinking wow this diaper's handy <laughs> so there was that um i was we had a black cat named coco we had a plant named george uh, we had a praying mantis in the house for a while named gertrude um i my mom had was teaching me how to read at a very early age. Like, to spoon baby food in my mouth, she would uh, sometimes have me uh, read uh, from a little picture book uh, with words in it, and I, and that's how she would get me to eat, because I was a really picky eater. And so, I, uh, let's start getting the water set up kind of early here. But yeah, I was a picky eater, so she'd get me to eat sometimes by having me read words out of a book. Little simple words, you know, cat, dog, things like that. But I was getting to the point that I could recognize other words, bigger words, even without being able to sound them out or anything. And uh, one time I saw that they had a box of Cheerios on the counter. and. I said I wanted some because I could see that it said Cheerios. You know, I mean, I could just recognize the word itself, how it looked. And they told me 
these aren't the right kind of Cheerios, because they were the plain kind, not honey nut. And I said I wanted them anyway, because they're Cheerios. They're the right kind. Give me them. I don't know if I said it. I probably just said, gimme, gimme, <laughs> or something. I don't remember that much. But, uh, and then, yeah, they gave it to me, and sure enough, I was like, yuck, because it wasn't sweet at all. Uh oh. Here we go, we've got dolphins. That's a little temporary way of getting them out of the way at least. Let's see how long it takes to kill them after they come past. That way I can kind of measure it. Looks like two squares, two tiles ought to do it. But then that's still cutting it a little close. Let's put things here. All right. But uh, another thing that I remembered, and it was a very important memory for me, was when I was looking at a bunch of ants in our driveway, and I picked one of them up. And as a toddler, I was I was like two years old. You know how you don't, you're not terribly dexterous, and I was pinching one of the ants, and of course it uh, got mad and pinched me back, and uh, I, you know, of course, screamed and cried and dropped it. And then I was looking for it, and I saw that it was all curled up and twitching and stuff, and so I uh, went and asked my mom uh, what was wrong with it and she said that it was hurt and I just started bawling and crying because I felt really bad even though it pinched me I still felt really bad because I didn't know that bugs felt pain and that this one was obviously in pain and and I felt bad for causing that so from then on it uh, I kind of was a lot more considerate to insects, and uh, ever since then, you know, I've been really empathetic and try to think about others' feelings, other living things' feelings, no matter what species they are. And uh, uh, I'm kind of glad that I was raised right in that regard. I'm glad that my mom told me worded it that way. Because who knows how else I might have turned out, you know, if she would have just said, oh, don't worry about it, it's just some stinking bug. Uh, I like having empathy for others. I like being, you know, not a jerk. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, keeping an eye on everything here. I'm probably gonna go ahead and add some reinforcement to the water lanes since I can afford it. Okay, and I'm, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to do at least a little something about the land lanes too. Because uh, this guy's got a late start. So let's just put up some walls, at least for now. I think that'll be good. Um, uh, but yeah, that interest in bugs has stayed with me my whole life, and I... Uh, as a kid, I would always be catching bugs and critters of all sorts and just keeping them in jars and, uh, but trying to make them really good, uh, jars. Like, I would, uh, well, let me make sure I get this guy. Yeah, with the double firepower, I can take him out within one block. There we go. Looking 
pretty hunky-dory. Let's put up a wall here just in case. I think I'll be able to get away with all my copying machines intact. And, uh, yeah, I always caught, uh, caterpillars and water bugs and all kinds of stuff, but I gave them lots of things to do. I always made it a point to find really neat sticks for them to climb on and twisty turny things and put paper towel rolls and toys in there for them. Tried to make their lives as interesting as I could. Okay, I got a tall nut heavy-duty wall that can't be vaulted over. Now that'll come in handy for the dolphins and other things. Yes siree. A little expensive though. Oh boy, we got a Zamboni, which can still crush even tall nuts. We got vaulters, and we've got dolphin riders, and we got bucket heads, so we're in for quite a bit of uh, an assault here. Let's see now. I think I'll put both up here. Let's see. That. Maybe that. And I guess that. Alright, let's do this. Yep, this time I'm going to have to uh, watch out for the land and the water. So this is going to be a lot more stressful. Um, as for keeping bugs and stuff, I have had some, you know, trial and error learning experiences. Sometimes I didn't have the right kinds of food, or, uh, or the right kind of... Uh, moisture or the right kind of uh, in the case of water bugs it was hard to keep them because you had to actually aerate the water somehow and if you uh, yeah if you just put them in a thing of water then eventually they'll run out of oxygen and die uh, unless you have enough algae growth in there and even then that's not a guarantee so I had to like blow bubbles in the water and stuff and even then that still wasn't a guarantee. Uh, but I did manage to get some tadpoles up to froglings and then let them go near puddles. And I got some caterpillars into butterflies and stuff. I've never really been afraid... whoops! Okay, I think it's still good. Never been really afraid of anything like uh, wasps, spiders, bats, snakes. Uh, the only time I've been bitten by a spider was in my sleep. And it was basically like having a giant mosquito bite. Uh, I accidentally rolled over onto a big wolf spider. I could tell because the bite marks were like almost an inch apart. <laughs> so it was a big one. But I didn't hold that against her because, I mean, I rolled over onto her, obviously, and it's probably scared and hurt both of us in the process. Uh, I've, I've gotten stung by wasps and bees before from accidents, once again, stepping on them in the middle of the night or something. But, uh, let's see, I'm just going to put this here. But, uh, so it's not like I'm completely unscathed. I know that they're capable of biting and hurting you and stuff, but I just, I also know that it's usually, you know, uh, an accident or they were hurt or scared, and of course they're just reacting by instinct. I'll just put this here, I suppose. Couldn't keep waiting on it. But I do need to start getting the water set up before they come. Yep, touche! And I don't have enough for the snow peas. 
let's see, I can wait, I think, until I can afford it. Yeah, I think so. Just one more sun. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Now this Walter, I'm not sure, might be able to be killed before it gets there, but I don't know. I don't think so. Uh... Uh, come on, son. Uh, son? Uh? That's awful late. I don't know about this. Yeah, I think that... Yep, too late. Uh, and now I have a random little walnut at a spot where it's kind of useless. And I'm short uh, 50 sun. Well, I'm gonna have to have a regular uh, pea shooter in this top thing. Come on, sun. Let's not be done by these zombies. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, the flag zombies are fast. At least they're not uh, too strong, but still, they do a number on you if they come in. Oh uh, boy, let's see, he's definitely gonna eat through that. I would like to put a spike strip there, but I gotta think about the water lanes and also for when they start coming back here, just as I thought. Actually, this might not work. I was thinking about it with the pea shooters, not with the regular ones. Aw, man. Well, uh, the pool cleaner's gonna have to do its job, and now I'm behind again. Let's go ahead and put that there. And I'm gonna have to, yeah, fill up this lane again. Well, that's kind of mean layering there. Oh boy, and this guy is coming through. Come on, give me one more sun. Thank you. Just smash him. Oh boy, this is gonna be a rough one here. Can't guarantee that this will be a win. Oh boy, now we got those guys. This one will be fine. This one not so much. Unless I can get that there. Okay. Come on, shoot him. There you go. Smack. <laughs> okay. This time it's okay because it's Snoopy. Gotta earn enough for a snow pea here. Either that or I'm just gonna have to toss another lily pad out in the open water randomly, which is kind of wasteful. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to make him jump now. Oh boy, he's getting through. Gonna stop him. And that put me behind some more. If only I had brought Tangled Kelp, but I didn't. I didn't realize the water would get so dire. Come on, get this guy. Get this guy. Get him. There you go. Jeez, that walnut did not last long. Why? because I have no, uh, no printer over here. And I still haven't gotten anything to kill this guy, and we're on the way, and this lane is in trouble, and oh no, and I only have 75 sun. What am I gonna do? Uh, this won't be enough. I gotta do something. Uh, I gotta hope I get this squash. 
now this lane is still vulnerable and then and, and I don't have anything to do anything with except eh and eh but then that is only postponing the inevitable and 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 eh, and then I'm gonna lose this which means I lose a hundred sun eh. oh man this has gotten so hard This is only the second big wave. And now he's gonna jump. I think I'm just postponing the inevitable here. Like with everything. Uh, I can afford this now, but... But I have to take this guy out quicker. So now I gotta wait again, and then I got these guys. Yeah, I'd say this is over. There's no way I can keep holding them back and not have something I can do, unless I can use the jalapeno, but I don't have enough sun. Uh, now I do, but there's no lily pad there. Okay, I'm gonna have to chalk this one up as a loss. Yep. Now I'm just as dumb as I already was! <sighs> Let's try this again. Let's see. Okay, this time... Hmm... I think. Let me think about this for a minute. Because I'm going to need all the walls I can get. And I'm going to need all the things to make the guys jump that I can get. And I'm probably going to be needing this a lot. And the only way I can kill these guys, though, is by using the squash. And they might still get snow on there. Uh, and I'm not sure how much they need before to, to make the dudes come. Uh, this is just as much part of the strategy as the actual p playing is trying to figure out what you're going to have in your arsenal. Um, okay, I'm going to switch it out for this. That way I can still kill these guys quick enough when I need to. No, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, Let's rock. Let's just try this. Plant! Except not yet. Must wait again. Uh... Now, some bugs that I am afraid of are crickets and grasshoppers, of all things. Uh, and, and roaches, and uh, because of their mouth parts, their mouths are made to just dig straight into things. And they like to bite me. They bite me all the freaking time whenever I pick them up. Other people, I cringe at them picking just grabbing grasshoppers in their hands. I'm like, how do you do that? Their legs are so prickly, and their mouths can just dig a hole in you. And ugh. It's like, I, I still don't go around killing them, though. That's what I don't get. People who are afraid of bugs or don't like certain bugs, why would they go around killing them? It's like, they deserve the death penalty just because you don't like them? That would be a terrible way to run society, you know? <laughs> it, it's like, just because you don't like them doesn't mean that they deserve to die. Um, uh, I mean, of course I dislike fleas, lice, ticks, and mosquitoes, but that's because they actually spread diseases and stuff, and I still don't like to kill them. But, uh, sometimes the predators aren't doing it enough, so it's to, you know, 
save us from their blood-sucking ways, but that's because they're actual predators who are preying on us, and that's a survival mechanism. But when a bug, you know, can simply, you know, bite you if you hurt it, or bite you if it's afraid, or sting you if it's afraid, that doesn't mean it's going to go around just doing that. Most of them are not aggressive. They just think humans are big moving objects, so they have no reason to go after them unless you're messing with their nest or, or something. now. Let's put that there. Deal with that guy as much as we can. I hope that that wasn't too late. We'll see. But, uh, but yeah, if I encounter unwanted bugs in my house, I just let them outside. Even crickets and grasshoppers, although I just don't touch them directly. Oh boy, come on, come on. What? It seemed like they took less hits than they used to. Okay, so next time the bolters come, I'm gonna have to put it sooner. Dang it. Well, no time right now to fill that in. I'm gonna have to start taking care of the water lanes. But, uh... Yeah, one handy method of catching insects is to uh, just grab a, a cup and something like an envelope or some poster board or something. And you just put the cup over the bug and then you slide the paper under the cup. And then bam, that's it. Uh, you've caught the bug and uh, as long as you do it slowly, you know, don't hurt the bug or crowd it against the side of the cup. Just slowly do it. Uh, a clear cup helps because then you can see the bug's comfort level. And bam, there you go. You've caught the bug. Then you can just take it outside and lift up the cup and let the buggy go. It's really easy. And you don't have to get hurt or hurt it. Um, the only times that bugs are aggressive, like, might be wolf spiders, because they actually carry their young around on their back or their belly. They carry an egg sac on their belly, and they carry their young around on their, uh, I'm gonna move this sooner. Just because, well, I needed to anyway, so I could do this. Uh, but now I need to do something about this guy. Probably gonna have to just use Tangle Kelp. I'm gonna wait until he's up. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Look at this. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to use it on that guy. I'm gonna have to set up something here. Try to hold him back, but I don't know how long that's gonna work. Might not be long enough to even get a regular pea shooter in there. And even then, trying to work on two of these guys at once is not gonna be easy. Maybe I should have just let that lane go. Speaking of letting things go... Oh boy, this is getting really tough already. I'm just gonna frickin'... Yeah. Because... Because uh, otherwise this plant would just get eaten. And... Yeah, I'm gonna wait until I can earn enough for snow pea and then fill in that water thing. Uh... But now we got this bucket head coming. He's going to muck things up in terms of my spending. Oh my gosh. Mm, don't know what to do. I guess just that for now to kind of slow him down. Uh, and 
I'm gonna have to have some extra extra oomph here. That, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And just, at least the snow pea here might be able to take this guy out. Uh, but I don't know. So put that there just in case. Spike weed is gonna hurt all these guys pretty good. Okay, and okay, this is fine. We just need to earn a no already. Yeah, I gotta earn a snow pea. But I don't know if it's gonna be in time. Again. Uh, this guy's gonna be a little close because that guy was in front of him. I didn't realize it was gonna be the case so much. Hopefully it'll be enough and he'll eat slowly enough from being slowed down. Come on. I don't want to lose my dishwasher already. Uh, I've almost got enough. Oh wait, I do got enough. Bum, bum, bum. Derp, derp, derp. Put that there for now to slow him down. Buckethead, though, I'm gonna have to do something about. Uh, what can I do? I'll wait till there's walnut there. And walnut there. <laughs> this could be a problem because there's a guy there. Okay. like he needs help, then I might have to drop this on him. Or we'll see if my walnut recharges quickly enough. Yes. Just in time. This isn't gonna last much longer, though. Nope. And I gotta do something about it, because... Because, yeah. So... One. Phew! Quite a conga line here. Hopefully you'll be, you'll be able to take him out. This will be okay. Water's okay for now. This will probably be okay because of the spike weed. Okay. I'm gonna have to put this here. I could have probably put it one over, but I don't know. I didn't want to take any chances. Uh, if only I could put spike weed here, it would be taking care of these guys so much better. I gotta watch this top lane. Both top lanes. I'm gonna have to use a squash. Uh, this could be a problem. Oh dear. If only I could use this on land. I think I'm losing this one again. Oh dear. And now we got a bucket head in the water. Yep, yep. I've lost this one again. Might as well not, might as well censor that. Uh, everything was fine. There was rainbows and magical unicorns save the day. Or to quote dra uh, the original Dragon Ball Z dub, I could see their parachutes. They're okay. So we'll try this again next time. <laughs> This is Zack Cloud, struggling mightily, or pitifully, however you want to interpret it, at Plants vs. Zombies. See you next Saturday.